Whether you enjoy Gorilla Tag and you want to make a fan game, or you're a VR dev trying to understand its unique move mechanic, there is a ton you can learn through replicating the magic of Gorilla Tag. Now, in order to get this game working, we are going to need a way to replicate the movement in Gorilla Tag. And luckily for you, looks like we have some code from another Axiom who actually developed the game. If you are new, I'm Fistful of Shrimp. I make Shrimple Unity VR tutorials, and I also love just talking about game development. So let's hop in. Now, in order to follow this tutorial, we are going to be using Unity version 2022. We're also going to be using my free VR Unity template that's going to get us started off very fast. In order to use it, all you have to do is make sure you download the zip file, find where you downloaded it, and then you want to extract all the files. And then once you've extracted all the files, you want to come back to the Unity Hub and go to Add Project from Disk, find where you are hiding that file, and then double click it and click Add to Project. After that, you should be able to double click this and open up the project. Boom. Now, once the project opens up, we will be greeted with this scene. This is my blank scene to start things off. And if you want to know more about the VR template, well, I have a video that covers the whole thing. So you can find that in the description below. But enough about that. Let's get working on Gorilla Tag movement. So we're going to be using code from another axiom, and it's incredibly easy to understand. Make sure you come over here and you extract all the files. And then once you've extracted all the files, you come over here to the extracted files and click on this little Unity icon and it will import the files that we need. Now, if we navigate to our scenes and go into this gorilla folder that got imported, we can double click this and we actually have a gorilla tag scene. And it's all in pink because my template, my VR template, uses the universal render pipeline. And it looks like this script uses the standard pipeline. So to fix that, we just got to go to rendering, render pipeline converter. We're going to click all these boxes and then initialize and convert. Now, I'm not sure why, but my initial conversion didn't work, so I actually ended up having to close out of that, do it all over again, go to render, and then hit all these boxes and do it one more time, and that seemed to fix it. I don't know why it needed to do it twice, so let me know if you have the same bug, and I might have to fix some things in my VR template. All right, and once it is done with all that, we can clear this message, and we will be greeted with this. It's pretty gray, so you know what? Let's color it up really quick. I'm going to come over to materials, and I've already created some extra materials. If you want to create your own, all you have to do is hit Control D, and you could duplicate any of these materials, any of them would work and you probably will only have the floor and the ray reticle and then you can name this let's call this dark green and i can come over here and just change the color dark green really quick and i can just drag that onto the floor and i'm going to add some of these there we go let's make these light brown and then these brown so we got some color to the scene. You know, we're just prototyping here. And what we're really interested in is this gorilla rig. So this is the magic of what we've imported. This is how we're going to move the player around. And I think it's really important. This is where you want to start experimenting. This player script right here, we can start playing with how long we want the arms, where we want the limit to be on velocity. I'm going to crank that bad boy up because I suck at this game. And yeah, we can just really tweak and twists some of these settings and create our own movement within this game and evolve it into something new. Now I'm going to test out this scene really fast and to do that all you do is connect your Quest 2 to the Oculus Link and make sure it's in developer mode which you can do through the app. I'll make sure to post a detailed guide down below. If this helps you out give me a quick like and as you can see I'm able to move around just like in Gorilla Tag. And if you're newer to Unity make sure to check out my Unity Basics videos. You can do one on materials so you can make the scene look even better or you can check out lighting so you can really master that. Thank you as always to my patrons. Without you, I can't do this. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.